In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. The third week of the blessed month of Qiyahq is a wonderful occasion in which we celebrate or we commemorate the birth of St. John the Baptist and the prophecy of his father, Zechariah, on what this young child would do through the work of the Holy Spirit in him. But look at the beautiful part of this in verse 67. It says, now his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit. And what did he do as a result of being filled with the Holy Spirit? He prophesied saying, blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited his people and redeemed them and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in, his ho in the house of his servant, David. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, how did Zechariah know that St. John was to do all these things. The Spirit inspired him to allow him to see what was to come, to allow him to see what this young little baby would do to point people towards the Messiah. St. John the Baptist was the forerunner. He was the one that was to prepare to the way for the Lord. And that's the most beautiful thing about the work of the Holy Spirit. The work of the Holy Spirit points us to Christ. The work of the Holy Spirit in Zechariah pointed him to be able to know what the Lord would do through St. John the Baptist, through the forerunning of what St. John the Baptist would do in preparation for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the natural thing too that he says, which is really beautiful, and it says in verse 74, is when the Holy Spirit fills me. I get clarity and I see what the Lord is doing. But then also after that, it removes all fear in my heart. It says in verse 74, to grant us that we being delivered from the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. Again, to grant us that we being delivered from the hand of our enemies the Lord Jesus Christ, the King, came to conquer death by death. The enemy is death. The enemy is the slavery to sin. The enemy is the plague that was upon humanity. And the Lord Jesus Christ entered into our humanity in order to heal us. But as I am being pointed to Christ, what naturally happens is I begin to start to focus on the work of Christ. I begin to start to see what he is doing that I might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. All of us this week, ask yourself, the work of the Holy Spirit in me, where he's taking me, what he's doing, what he did in Zechariah. Zechariah, before the birth of St. John for nine months, he was quiet, he was mute, didn't say a word. And this is the first thing that he spoke through the Holy Spirit was to prophesy and to speak about what the Lord Jesus Christ would do. When I speak, is my voice speaking about the Lord? When I speak, am I pointing people to Jesus? When I speak, am I inspired in the work that Christ is doing? Or is it just words over and over and over again? The challenge this week is to ask yourself, am I like Zechariah? Do I allow the Holy Spirit to fill me? to speak on my lips, that which will point people to Christ. Ask yourself, as you're preparing again for the incarnation of Christ, is your heart open to his presence? Is the Holy Spirit working in you and drawing you to him? Is the Holy Spirit giving you vision and clarity of your life? Or are you just moving aimlessly? Let that be our challenge and let us be encouraged through the work of the Holy Spirit this day and every day. Have a wonderful week ahead.